Hey Potterheads, and welcome to another podcast. This is number 40, and we're going to talk about the British Ministry of Magic. And you may remember this Ministry of Magic was run by Cornelius Fudge during Harry Potter's years at Hogwarts. Well, until the end of the Order of the Phoenix, anyway. So just the first five books and films. Before then, he stepped down and Rufus Scrimgeour took over until he was killed in the earlier chapters of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, then causing a Death Eater, Pius Thickness, to come into office and power. Now, okay. The Ministry of Magic are basically the government for the great British wizarding world. And they employ such wizards as Arthur Weasley, who's in the Misuse of Muggle Artifacts office. Dolores Umbridge, who is the Mada is the uh, Under Secretary. The head of magical law enforcement, which is Yaxley, one of the Death Eaters. Hmm? Uh, where, 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 uh, then there's the Daily Prophet, there's the Wizarding Newspaper, who, mm, I don't really want to say her name, but I'm going to have to, aren't I? Rita Skeeter works for. And then there's the Aura Department, which handles the catching of dark witches and wizards, and shuts them away in Azkaban, the wizard prison. For many, many years, they used Dementors as the Azkaban prison guards. But after the Battle of Hogwarts, they stopped using them and started using Auras to guard the prison. Well, okay. And then obviously there's a regulation of magical sports. Got to think of it, I'm not so sure that is actually what it's called. Um, Uh, the Department of International Magical Corporation, which plays a major part in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. You know, during the uh, Tri-Wizard Tournament.
the Department of Mysteries, which is deep within the bowels of the Ministry of Magic. And just because I said bowels doesn't mean you dirty minders out there can have dirty minds. And yes, yeah, such employees as I said as Arthur Weasley, Mafalda Hotkirk, uh, Albert Roncorn, uh, Reginald Cantonal, <laughs> um, Kingsley Shacklebolt. Uh, those have been notable famous auras. John Dawlish. Alistair Moody before he became, or supposedly became, the Defence Against the Dark Arts Professor at Hogwarts. Hmm. Not course in the future, and this is what, like, nineteen years after the Battle of Hogwarts. Hermione is the Minister for Magic. No surprise there. Um, Harry now runs the Magical Law Enforcement offices. Yep, yeah, that department. Uh, Ron doesn't actually work for the Ministry, so, okay. Well, it, it gives you the basic gist of what these characters' jobs are. In the uh, West End musical production, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which obviously um, you can buy the script for. Well, there'll be a whole episode about that later on in the series. <laughs> I just wanted to give you the basic gist of the British Ministry of Magic for this episode, and tomorrow we will shift. Oh, we we will shift our topic. On to the author herself, how about that? J.K. Rowling and try to go over the history of how she became a writer, what inspired her for the Harry Potter books, and a little bit of legal trouble she ran into with the creators of a certain fantasy horror film from the 1980s. Until then, it's mischief managed. <laughs>